There's a real problem with boards in ignoring shareholders. There's also uh, a serious issue of their having been captured, in effect, by the managers of the company, uh, particularly the CEOs who helped select them uh, to begin with or certainly approve uh, who they are in advance, uh, who decide their agendas, their committee assignments, uh, often their compensation. Shirley Young, who was uh, an extremely good board member on a lot of companies, starting at, at Target, uh, was uh, on the Bank of America board. And the CEO's pay in one year was $79 million uh, during a year that they were laying off 12,600 people. During a board meeting, she brought up this as a concern that they might want to talk about among themselves, even from a public relations point of view. Well, uh, she was cut off by somebody on the uh, compensation committee who said it's not necessary to do that. She found herself uh, dropped from the board and she didn't even find out until they failed to send her the materials for the next meeting. It's really a cultural thing. Uh, it's a, it's a uh, narrow, insular set of self-selected and self-perpetuating people in many cases that uh, run boards. Their perspectives uh, are all uniform and when they tend to get into the board meeting, uh, even strong executives at other companies tend to become uh, cheerleaders and meek people who don't ask tough questions. Over uh, half of the 200 largest economies in the world are now corporations. 57 million uh, American households own stock either directly or through 401ks or mutual funds. They're directly affected when a board is negligent, doesn't do its job, and the company collapses, and you see tens or even hundreds of billions of dollars of loss uh, to the shareholders in those companies. But I think the broader effect for the American public is in the other stakeholders, uh, the customers, the employees, the communities, the environment, uh, which lose greatly when companies die. In Money for Nothing, we present about 40 separate ideas that we think could revolutionize how boards are governing our largest companies. Uh, most of these recommendations are ones that will change the culture of boards to make them more diverse and uh, more independent and more accountable uh, and also ensure that they uh, are doing the types of internal evaluations and representing shareholders rather than management.